Hello, my name is Rosa Maria Kostic Cisneros. I am collaborating with the Independent Theatre Hungary, and it gives me just great uh, pleasure and honor to sit down with Rodrigo, who is the founder and artistic leader of the Independent Theatre Hungary. He is a writer, director, and educator, and the initiator of the Roma Heroes Festival, and writer and director of numerous of the plays that we've been focusing on. And those plays often have an interethnic and social topic and a component to it. I'm also here with Marta Nilesh, who is the operative leader of the Independent Theatre um, Hungary and is a sociologist, dramaturg and educator. And in today's uh, conversation, we'll be translating for us. Um, but also, just as a point, he was the dramaturg for the play we're going to discuss today, which is Shadis. Shadis um, was written and directed by Rodrigo. Um, and so we'll, we're here to learn a little bit more about the work from your perspective. Um, so, Rodrigo, I uh, had a bio, but if you could describe in your own words who you are, um yeah and and where you both of you are right now uh so hello everybody uh watching the uh, the program screening now i'm rodrigo balog uh, uh roma theater artists in hungary as you also mentioned we've been organizing the roma heroes festival since 2017 we have a quite wide overview on the Roman theaters around Europe and also their artwork. Uh, these artworks, from my point of view, are fantastic. And I'm very motivated to uh, disseminate and share with as many people as possible these projects. Yes, thank you. Thank you for that. And, and we are in Budapest in a flat which functions also as a, as a meeting point for uh, the colleagues of Independent Theatre Hungary as Similarly to other European Roma theatres, we don't have a strong building or an office or a rehearsal room, so we are quite flexible in using the current flats. Yes, and you know, I think it's it's a a testament though to your work and your heart that you guys put and do so much and you reach a global scale from your apartments and from your flats. So it's it's lovely, it's really powerful. Um, and with that, I, I want to perhaps if we can start reflecting a bit on the work of Shadis and the, the, the play. Um, it's if, if you could give us a very brief overview of the, of the work. Um, I know it has to do with healthcare, and the body, and especially in the last year, health has been uh, a very serious issue. So if you could tell us a little bit about um, the work from your perspective as writer and director. <laughs> So there is a sad story behind uh, the play and the performance shoddies. So in Hungary, around 70,000 people died uh, because of uh, any mistakes of the of the doctors or or like not uh, receiving uh, good service in the healthcare system. 
és azt gondoltuk, hogy, hogy a részt erre jelenségben nagyon sokan So we thought we should react on this phenomenon, másrészt pedig arra, hogy a, a, a roma embereket nagyon-nagyon sokat is And also uh, we thought we should reflect on the discrimination that many Roma people faces in the healthcare system. For example, in Hungary, it was very often that uh, the, they made sterilization on Roma women after they gave birth to a baby. And also till now, many times Roma people receive very bad service uh, in the healthcare system and uh, like uh, not respectful treatment. But only in case if they receive any service. So this was like the antecedents of the play. And in the next step, we also analyzed what kind of uh, uh, plays were made till now. Uh, related to healthcare uh, issues and topics in Hungary. Most of these plays weren't very much successful. If they didn't fail, So this topic is a very neurotic topic in Hungary. So everyone has some bad experience related to uh, healthcare system. And people doesn't want to go to theater and see these problems on stage. So in the fall of 2018, we uh, We wrote a call for application for uh, young people who wanted to participate in a scholarship program. A lot of young people applied for this call. So the, uh, the content of this program was uh, that uh, for seven months, every week for 15 hours, the scholars participated in a workshop, the frame of which uh, we created a uh, play together and did rehearsals and theater education and then uh, performed it in the uh, ARS 9 theater and uh, we also kept it uh, for longer for other performances. So we started uh, the work with four youngsters uh, in the beginning of 2019. And they were uh, a mixed group, uh, also Roma and non-Roma, boys and girls. And three out of the four uh, went to the university. We made different situation games through which we created a draft of the story. Uh, in order they are able to realize this situation games, we also brought in some uh, stimulus for them. 
For example, we inform them about research results about this topic. Or interviews made with uh, uh, service providers in the healthcare system. And also interviews made with patients with uh, uh, services. It was important to ensure them a wide perspective of this topic in order they can be objective and not to have like biases about any of the topics. And we also uh, spoke about what the experiences of these four young people were regarding the healthcare system. How was the uh, health consciousness in their families? So their personal stories made a uh, uh, play as a full entire one. I am very lucky related to all the four young people. Uh, there was a very uh, uh, unique situation. For example, for the scholarship program, uh, a girl, uh, two sisters applied, uh, twins. Who uh, contributed to the play uh, with a lot of personal stories of their lives and their families. And both girls frequented university in Deverson and they broke in such uh, intellectual quality in it, which uh, contributed a lot to the final play. Yes, but and the third girl uh, was also a very important uh, contributor of the workshop. And uh, after this whole uh, process, she also applied to uh, theater school and has been admitted. So she really started her theater career during this uh, period. I highlighted these three persons because they were the ones who participated in the whole process from the beginning to the performance. But with the only boy character and participants, uh, we weren't so much lucky. Uh, we knew from the beginning that among young uh, boys, it's very high the, uh, uh, the cancer in the balls. So we uh, fixed uh, more or less at the beginning the uh, the main illnesses which the uh, which the characters had in the play. And as the boy, uh, we thought should have this uh, uh, ball cancer. It wasn't really uh, attractive for the participants uh, or the mm -hmm. youngsters. This uh, 
this character and finally till the performance we uh, consumed uh, three of this uh, of these young guys who always uh, left the project and we needed to bring in a new one to <laughs> So this role was very uh, uh, difficult and challenging on mental level for these young guys. So the, the mental challenge was also quite strong for the girls, but they uh, they were much stronger with it and uh, and didn't have so much uh, bad influences on their uh, conditions. But we saw that also with the uh, guy characters, we had a good uh, cooperation. And when they left the project, we had also like a good uh, follow up and we still have in contact with them. But maybe because of this, in a later work of mine, I, I focused on the on the uh, sensibility of the man in general, which is not so much targeted. So this this problem brought me a, a new uh, topic in this performance: the vulnerability of of men in general. It was important for me to uh, attack the stereotypes uh, at some level. So, for example, in your story, the uh, uh, the nurse, uh, who is the service provider, was of uh, of gypsy origin. And it was also very important that all the roles were quite diverse, just as an example. So, for example, when we portrayed uh, a drug user girl uh, who also appears in the in the in the hospital, it was also important to show the background of this girl and why she became a, a drug user. And uh, the only guy character uh, uh, used to belong to an uh, uh, extremist uh, group, uh, the members of which uh, uh, like attacked uh, different weaker youngsters, uh, which is on a, on a superficial level a quite bad character, but we also highlighted the background of this guy and why he became a member of uh, uh, an extremist group. So it was also highlighted later on by the critics, the Hungarian critics, that it was uh, very surprising for them that the uh, 
Roman theater uh, deals with an extremist guy and uh, try to deal with uh, with his problem with understanding. But it was because we wanted to uh, deal with all the stories in an objective way and to to go beyond the surface and uh, and research the reasons of all the activities of all the characters. Exactly, and I think that that's one of the the powers of the, the play, the work, is that you offer you frame each person not as their actions but as a person and every person has a story and that backstory really affects the actions and i think that's the beauty of what makes it universal that you are your characters all you want us the viewers to empathize with each character from the extremist to the to the nurse to the drug user and it's i think it's really powerful um and you know it, it brings me to a question around taboo topics when you were doing the the workshops and working with the community or doing the research did any taboo topics come up for you and you know you kind of mentioned the one with the male um prostate and that that was a bit too much for this one person um but you know were there more topics like that that were um because some communities have taboo topics that you know that's home conversations <laughs> so i'm just curious as to your experience with that Azt gondolom, hogy, hogy például az minden egyetestő pár, hogy például ilyen kismezgódolás, mint hogy beépítették a saját szüleik tudatosságát. For example, the girl twins, uh, I just mentioned, uh, put the real stories of their parents and how their parents are very much not conscious regarding their past. <laughs> So related to this uh, lack of uh, has consciousness, uh, we also highlighted that in many among many communities in villages, uh, in like bad uh, economic situations, people think that if I uh, if I will be ill, then I will be taken to the doctor and repaired like a vacuum cleaner. And I think it's also a kind of uh, taboo uh, attacking that we speak also about these uh, issues. Uh, so just coming back what I mentioned earlier that most of the theater performances failed in Hungary, that I think in this play the main topic wasn't only the health care system and this topic on its own. But the activity and energy of the youngsters in the story. And also the attacking the taboos, which you mentioned. Yes, and it's, you know, you, you offered um, 
some insight into that process and it's you know i think one of the the beauties um is that you gave the example of the village the woman who doesn't want to go to the hospital because she fears she might be treated as a vacuum cleaner or like a, an object um and maybe that's a bit on difficult for some for some people to imagine that's silly how could they think that but that fear comes from somewhere and you can't deny someone that fear they you know you have to listen and hear that and validate and i think that's what the play does really well is it it takes someone's fear small or big and it just says okay and how 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 can we uh, you say peel back the onion how can we get to the core of what's happening there um so it's it's a lovely um very powerful and transformational way i think of of celebrating many voices which i think the the work does but also the you you and your company do um and so it, it's lovely to hear that the personal stories you know people the young people felt that they could offer their personal stories in uh the the process of writing and 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 making the work with you um if you could tell me a little bit about some uh feedback from uh audience members because you started the our, we started our conversation you saying people didn't always want to go to theater to listen or to talk about healthcare and some of these heavy topics so i'm curious how you know the play how the work has been received because it's been shared globally um so you know online but also uh, body to body so if you could maybe tell us a little bit about that feedback you've received thank you manon kuni melodan vagyok na elvadásuk követően so after the performances we usually had uh, audience discussions so because of this we are lucky to have a lot of feedback as a typical kozosi találkozók azon túl menőleg hogy a nézők meg tudhatták a színdarab elvadásnak készülésének so besides uh, during this uh, discussions beside the fact that the audience have got also some information about the background of the creation of the performance or we also focused on these discussions that what the audience member uh, would do in order to change somehow the situation of the as their system. So we all know that the system is bad. If you go in, you might die there and it won't help you. But just speaking about this, it doesn't have any point. But what you as private person could uh, contribute to uh, in order to um uh, this uh, situation but we uh we asked this question after the performance and it, at the end of the performance the four young people who were uh who were in this hospital figured out that they are doing a campaign and they are doing uh, uh, blood giving or blood donation and they also made a related uh, campaign which is actually uh, an activity which can be done by every citizen so we came from the position that we or the characters of the play already did something so we had a, a reason to ask the audience that what could you do yeah. 
But actually, this is also taboo, uh, the blood donation. For example, uh, you as a, I don't know, the Roman nurse goes for a blood donation, but you don't know who will receive this blood. But getting back to the feedbacks of the audience, we received uh, feedbacks from very different positions. There were, for example, some service providers who worked in the healthcare system and they said that this performance gave them a lot. And for example, one of these women said it's good that uh, the language and uh, uh, the facts uh, were real professionally uh, based and they weren't just figured out. The only summer on my own, uh, on the seat, my energy work, would you, 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 and what was very uh, uplifting for me that the people who stayed at this audience discussions uh, spoke up very bravely about their own experiences and what they had in the healthcare system. As a Sam for us, us would some of the teachers because I believe that we are but which wasn't so good uh, that usually uh, there weren't uh, uh, real suggestions what we as private persons could do in order to change the situation. Olyan volt, hogy utólagosan kaptunk visszajelés valamizre, hogy a bűnben meg tudunk egy különböző előadást jelent adni. But for example, we got some feedbacks uh, that uh, audience member went to uh, do blood donation after they saw the performance as as in the but there weren't very innovative ideas for <laughs> solving these problems sure and but you know it takes time to i think um get people to really act but even the fact that they attended the work and that they were engaging in the conversation already is a huge i think action um and you know it's lovely that you the the the, the theater the actors the people in the workshop the community members took that responsibility and said okay this is what i can do i can create this work as you said, and now it's your turn. And, you know, it's a shared responsibility and that's um, it's really powerful and important to say that it's not just Roma or just non-Roma that need to do something, but everyone plays a role in that. Um, and that flexibility is important. Um, lovely. And so my last question, goes to the title of the of the work. Can you tell me a little bit where the title comes from and what it means, please? Uh, there is a hospital in Hungary, in a Hungarian town. And uh, there is a room in this hospital where came the new babies, the room number six. And they always put uh, the gypsy mothers in room six. Uh, the mothers who uh, who gave birth to a uh, already dead uh, child, and the ones who doesn't really have, who are not really pregnant, but think that they are pregnant. 
So this uh, room number six is the room of shadows in this hospital. And so there's something um, very intense there about life and death and, you know, babies and next generation. Sometimes, you know, the, that it can be quite um, hopeful when, you know, babies can be blessings for families and for f communities. Um, but it also can be very difficult, you know, and sometimes those babies, as you say, die and don't make it. And that that's also part of, I think, a journey of, um, you know, the, the, of life. It's, it's the cycle of life. And, and it's, you know, it makes me very sad to think about, you know, that pain and suffering, not only for the, for the mother, but for the family, but also for the culture. Because again, there that these topics aren't always um, we might not know how to talk about it, and it's a lovely I think metaphor for the work that of the play, um, and it's intense. But I think it it's a kind of central point for the the work that for the rest of the play, um, because babies bring life, but they also have that they can also bring death and make us face that so it's quite powerful yeah yeah so is there anything else that either of you would like to share with me of your experience of a memory um that perhaps makes you smile when you think about it um about the work i'm sure there are many but maybe something that yeah it, it will, it will. I, I would like to add only two other things Okay, Okay, so during the process of the creation of the play and the performance, everybody who participated in this, in this work were very sensitive and sensible and open to the others. And uh, I might have never experienced such an open and uh, sensitive team, including the costume designer and everybody in the, the, the person. So patience and love uh, really much characterize our birth. And the the colleagues were very much into into this cooperative uh, birth. Which I hardly experienced. So, for example, the twins I mentioned here, uh, Katalin and Vira in Bodo, and they uh, frequented the university at the countryside. And they came to the uh, to the rehearsals three times a week, which meant like uh, 1,500 kilometers traveling every week. So, and this <laughs> this uh, uh, this uh, length in Hungary is uh, a lot in time because our trains are very slow. <laughs> yes. yes. And I, I was just informed in the last days that uh, a young girl who is applying to Seattle Academy, and we didn't know her, uh, 
choose the monologue from this play for her um, entrance exam, which is like a good feedback that uh, the play will be used also by next generations. That's fantastic. That's really, really fantastic. And, you know, the, the two, you know, both points really highlight that the, the human spirit and that, um, y you know, when we have health problems or we have health issues, you know, sometimes it might look one way, but the spirit of the person fights through and you know the, the the two young people traveling thousands of kilometers a week just shows that health you know that the the agency and the willingness um and you know now this this work is being used by another generation in a new way in a modern way i think reflects also that the community the roma and non-Roma were always developing, always modernizing in new ways, fresh ways. So it's it's lovely, um, and it, it's just a testament to all of the work that you know you've done with the play, but also on a more kind of global scale that both of you are doing with with um, Independent Theatre Hungary. So thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, I yes. would just add a few thoughts. Uh, that um, one thing is you asked about uh, the title of Shadis and yes. uh, Rodrigo answered uh, a very objective answer which yes. uh, came as the word but I think all the four characters are considered as Shadis in the society because many times the society consider Roma or drug users or extremists or children without family uh, uh, shoddies and they are treated like that but in the play they also show that they can think also on other people and they can as you mentioned see below their problems or above their problems mm -hmm. and this blood donation uh, for me as dramaturge was also a very important symbol because we always speak about these ethnic issues about like different communities and colors but at the end of the day, uh, which matters is your blood. And uh, maybe you are Roma or non-Roma or Eskimo or American European, but your blood group is what is what matters if you have an accident or anything. And if you need blood, you don't ask whose blood is it? Because it's red, it's, I don't know, Erich, negative, AB and so on. And that's what matters. And you don't care if it comes from a Roma or a white person or somebody who's leftist or rightist, but you just need it. And when you give also blood donation, you also give like support to all human beings mm. and not only the ones who think or live the way which you think is bad. Yeah, well, thank you for that. And, you know, it's, it's um, just so, I don't know, hopeful, you know, it just gives me hope to think that we can talk about these issues um, very serious, especially given the last year we've had with the pandemic. But, you know, that there's something about coming together and um, just seeing people for, for who we are, for humans, we're a human race, and that that's um, so important and so powerful as well. And that that is what's going and has been kind of getting us through these difficult moments. So, and maybe we're all a little bit of, of a shoddy somewhere. We're all shoddies in some capacity. Um, and that's okay. And that is okay. Um, so thank you so much, both. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. How do I say thank you in Hungarian? Yes, Usunov. Usunov. <laughs> Usunov. So thank you so much. <laughs> Muchas gracias. <laughs> yes. All right.